Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Today it's the finale of this four game set between the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. Eduardo Rodriguez is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Boston. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. That'll Meeting bring in Giovanni Urshela. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Drilled right back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. I mean, an absolute bullet line drive on the first pitch of the game. I always wondered how many pitchers were so fresh. That has to frustrate the living heck out of you. Because if I'm leading off and I never did it in my career, I'd be pulling the trigger every 0 0 pitch. That might be the best pitch you'll see all day. Again now, Tyro Estrada. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. Even after the victory last time out, they come in trying to turn things around as they've been slumping of late, winning in just three of their last nine games. Hey, Matty V, you know, if there's such a good thing as splitting a series, Dero, this is the one. They lose the first two games of this series, win game three. They'd like nothing more than to split this series and win game four. Yeah, Bobby Cox always used to say, you got to take care and beat the teams you're supposed to beat and then play 500 against the really good teams. They have a chance to do that exactly today. Drop the first two, but if they can win today, they split this series and move on. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bradley is there. Makes the play one away. That is third. The second baseman, D.J. LeMahieu. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMahieu. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. From the stretch. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. And set up behind the plate is Ricky Holiday, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. I can't figure his zone out. He doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Dero, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for, we're looking for a consistent zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high zone. Have the same zone. His zone fluctuates a little bit too much for my liking during the course of a game. Outside, 3-0 and now. We're seeing a good A-B here from the three-hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. When a guy's been swinging the bat as well as he has in this series, you definitely want to take the bat out of his hands. A free pass to first is better than what he's been doing the last couple of games. From the belt, the pitch. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. The 0 and 1 delivery. Runners are at first and second with one away. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. Ball one to start the at bat.
the set and the 1 0. 2 0. His numbers against Eduardo Rodriguez. Two hits in seven tries. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Two and one. Here it is. Urshela on second. LeMayhew at first. Two out in the inning. 2-2 two -two pitch is fouled away. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. More to come on MLB Network Sunday Baseball after this. Garrett Cole will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. What do we need to know here, Danny? Matt, I'm a big fan of Garrett Cole. Big, strong guy. Former first-round draft pick out of UCLA. 96 to 98 miles an hour with sink. Hard slider. His changeup has gotten better the longer he's pitched. He has a chance to be a no-hit type of pitcher every time he takes them out. And that'll bring up the left-handed no hitting Andrew field. Benintendi. Andrew. It'll leave things off here in the bottom Benintendi. half of the first. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They came up a little short last time out, but they've still been one of the hotter teams around, winning eight of their last ten ball games. What an opportunity to get a chance to put our eyeballs on one of the best teams in baseball right now. This team has played so well. Their manager has been on point. Every move he makes is working. Timely hitting. Great defense. Good bullpen. The starters have been on point. This is going to be special. Yeah. One and two now as this catches the outer half. To two balls and two strikes now. Here now the two two. LeMayhew with a great stop to first. It's there. He got him. There's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. And being a right-handed hitter, it's not altogether shocking to see he's a better hitter here at Fenway Park than he is away from home. First pitch of the at-bat. In there, no balls and a strike. One out, nobody on. And here's one that misses to Pedroia, and the count evens at one and one. Now here it comes. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. J.D. Martinez waits on deck. Three and one pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Around first, he's digging for second. And this will bang up against the wall. Now a long throw to third. And Pedroia will get in there at third with a triple. And that's the chance you take when you lay out for a ball like that. You make the play and you're a hero on the highlight shows. You miss it and you're picking yourself up and chasing after it. Here's J.D. Martinez as he'll take a look at ball one. So far this season, Martinez comes into action sporting a slugging line above 650. And that's not something you see every day. Truly an elite power bat. Now it's 2-0. 
That's a pretty tough spot for him to deal with in the first inning. Runner in scoring position already, and now he's got the three-hitter salivating in a good hitter's count. Probably surprised to see the knuckle curve there, two and one. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Here now the 2-2. Pitch is way outside, and he can't even get a glove on it. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Ready? Now the payoff pitch. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And it's gone into the monster seats. So a two-run shot to left center. 34 home runs now on the year. And that gives the Red Sox a two-to-nothing lead. That's how the manager drew it up right there. Hold the visiting team scoreless and then grab a huge home run in the first. Digging in, Xander Bogarts. As he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. What a season this guy's having. He's right up there among the RBI leaders and he's awfully dangerous with runners on base. Here it comes. <laughs> Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. On a line, that's a base hit. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. When he started this game, giving up three extra base hits in the opening frame was not what he had in mind. He could still settle down and turn things around on the mound, but the way it's going right now, this has the makings of a start he's going to want to forget. Here now is Rafael Devers, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. the belt the pitch aiming for that outside corner but just missing 2 and 0 clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on it the 2 0 on the way Freedom. this is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor Still only one out in the inning. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Wow, he's looking awfully shaky to start this game, guys. That's three hits and a walk. And there's no doubt that he's fighting himself right now. See if he can get this train back on the rails here. At the plate, Mitch Moreland. And the Red Sox with an opportunity for more damage here in the first. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. I think this inning could have far reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. 23 pitches already here in the first inning. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. In his career, Moreland is quickly approaching 200 career homers, looking to inch closer here. One and one, here it comes. And a knuckle curve missed that time, two and one. 
Cole is a guy that's able to keep the bat off the ball. That's kind of the name of the game for a pitcher, and as a starter, it really helps him work deep into games. Matty V, one of the toughest parts about scoring runs is bunching three or four hits together an inning, and that's one of the things this guy does really well. He's tough to hit, and he's really tough to get three or four hits off of. That's one of the reasons why he's one of the better pitchers. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. Another first-inning RBI opportunity for him here. Full sets and delivers. All one, no strike. The 1 0 home. No, that's bad. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. Scooped up. Throw over to LeMayhew at second, and that'll do it. Well, the Red Sox strike for two on the two-run homer. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 2-0 Boston. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Hard hit at third. A dive and he knocks it down. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out on the play. Nice the effort by the shortstop right there. Mm. Kept it in front of him. Oh. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. One and oh, the count. So look now the pitch. Hey. Nobody out runner on first. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees first baseman. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And bobbled out there by Pedroia. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. And this was set up perfectly for him to start the double play. He's in ideal position. And then I think he got a little bit ahead of himself. You know that old saying, be quick but don't hurry? Well, I think that was demonstrated right here. Now with the plate, Aaron Hicks. And he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. First offering on its way. Nope, at the ball. And he takes ball one. None out, runners at first and second. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2 0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. From the stretch. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. 3 and 1. 3 and 1 with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. As a look, now the pitch to short. 
And that's through a base hit. Torres isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. Safe at the plate. As they cut their deficit in half, it's a two to one game now. Batting up, the catcher, Gary Sanchez. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. one pitch is in there for strike number two. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Now that the third base. Stepping into the box, Gio Urshela, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. So far on the year, Urshela is slugging north of 480, which puts him among some of the best power hitters in the game in that category. Comes set, and the 0-1. Nope. One and one. A little bit outside. Two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. And he misses again, ball three. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Three and two now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Line drive snagged on a short hop onto Moreland, and they roll two to end the inning. A run on two hits for the Yankees. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Red Sox lead it two to one. Digging in now, Christian Vasquez batting 300 for the series, three for 10. First pitch on its way. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer half of the plate. A one and one count now to Vasquez. a swing and a high drive into left center field. Back goes Stanton and this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So a solo shot here to left center field. Number 10 for him on the year. And the Red Sox have taken a 3-1 to one lead. Hey listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. So here now is Jackie Bradley. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's got the average of 285 here to start play. A dozen home runs and 42 runs batted in. Now the 1-0. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Now back. 
The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. Bases are empty. One man out. Two balls and no strikes now to the Red Sox left fielder. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone. This guy's been raking lately. And it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher. Just go ahead and challenge him. Three and oh now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. And a good comeback there. It's 3-1. and one. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Pulled toward right center field. Hicks is under it. Two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the former MVP, second baseman Dustin Pedroia. Cole's ready. Here's the first pitch. That's a ball. Counts one and oh. The one oh. It is in there for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. Now the pitch. And it's fouled away. And another foul ball. Hit out towards second. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. The Red Sox do pick up a run on the solo shot. We've played two. It's now 3-1 to one Boston. New inning set to get underway, and stepping up as the shortstop, Tyro Estrada. Tyro Estrada. Now here's the pitch. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. One out here in the Yankees third inning and that'll bring in DJ LeMahieu. First pitch coming here it is. Lays off 1 0. LeMahieu, playing here in his age 31 season, he was taken in the second round back in the 2009 MLB draft. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. Next for New York, Aaron Judge. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. 
Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Popped him up. Devers has got it, and that wraps up the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Score holds, it's three to one. Back now at Fenway Park, and here's Heidi Watney with a report. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Leading off. Coming to the plate now, J.D. Martinez, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the press run and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. In there, and it's 0-1. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. High in the air out to center field. Hicks is under it. He's got it one away. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two-strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. Here's the first pitch to him. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Bogarts is really a well-balanced hitter. That doesn't seem to matter whether he's facing a right-hander or a lefty. He makes a lot of loud contact either way, which is quite rare in today's game. Yeah, you can tell this guy really pays attention, puts time in the cage, studies the video, seems to always have a game plan, and is not off balance too much. And that misses two and one. Hey, after the double at his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. The two one home. Oh, that counts. Rafael Devers will be next. Third inning here. Three to one our score. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Gone! It's a solo shot for Xander Bogarts. Number 35 now on the season. And with it, the Red Sox have taken a 4-1 lead. Wow, nothing more demoralizing than giving up three home runs in the first three innings of a game. There's having a guy's number, and then there's absolutely owning him. This could be the latter. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. Third base as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He'll enter play here up near the 340 mark. And even 20 home runs and 88 runs batted in. And he misses again, 2-0. They obviously circled him before the game that they were not going to let him beat them. Walked him his first time up, and now they're nibbling again. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Hit sharply on the ground. LeMayhew's got it. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up a former gold glover, the first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Cole has his target and the pitch. The 
wind up and the 0 1. Line drive and that's a base hit into center field. So some two out success and the bottom of the third frame will continue. And they've had some good at bats against him like all game long. It, it seems like it's just been hard hit after hard hit. As we take a look at his line here, the numbers do not lie. This has not been one of his better outings, and he'd be the first to tell you that. Now at the plate, Alex Verdugo. Here it comes. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. One strike now from Cole. Two out with the man at first. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. One two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Trying to pick things up where we left off, Christian Vasquez. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Has a look, now the pitch. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Hey, the way this guy on the mound's been struggling to find his own, I'm not mad at the guy taking the pitch. Two down runners at first and second. And it's one and one. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. And a knuckle curve missed that time, two and one. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Now the 2-1. Fouled away. The 2-2. Two -two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. When a guy homers now, off you early in the game, the that. last thing you want to do is challenge him and maybe have him do it again. He was a lot more careful with him there. Standing in, Jackie Bradley Jr. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if they'll fish. There's a belt high strike to even the count at one and one. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. 
the set and the 1 1. Coming up now on 30 pitches in the inning. And he fouls this one off. Here's the 1 2. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Popped high in the air. Voigt over to his right. And they'll avoid the big inning as he makes the catch, so just the one run scores here in the frame. Red Sox get a run on the solo shot by the X-Man, Xander Bogarts. We played three full. It's now four to one Boston. All set for the start of the fourth. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder Giancarlo Stanton. Here comes the first pitch. Hey there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ball. One ball, one strike. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. High in the air and deep to left center field. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo home run here off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. Home run number 37 on the year. And the Yankees are back in business. It's now a 4-2 ball game. Guys, we've seen four big balls between the two teams so far today. What are your impressions of the long ball display we're watching? Yeah, Matty B. Well, d -Row, you kind of expect a high-scoring game with that green monster here at Fenway. Yeah, it changes your whole mindset. Right center's out of the equation. Dead right field's out of the equation. Goes to 380 at its deepest part. Unless you want to hit one down to pesky pole, you're looking to pepper that green monster. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3-1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. No outs, nobody on. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Now batting. The first base. Now to the plate, Luke Voigt. It comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. Here's the pitch. Popped him up. There now is Moreland, and he's got it for the second out. Into the box, Aaron Hicks. He reached on a single in his first try. Pitch on the way. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. The 1-0. Two runs, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Pitch saws him off as this one's lifted in the air. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. Bottom of the fourth coming up. The Red Sox four and the Yankees two.
ready to go in the bottom of the Feeding fourth. Off. And well, standing right in off. the outfielder, Andrew the Benintendi. Andrew Benintendi. First pitch on its way. Is a swing and a high pop up. Urshela over to his left, one down. The batter number 15. So one away second here with the bases base empty. And that'll bring up the former MVP oh, second oh, yeah. baseman Dustin Pedroia. First pitch coming, here it is. Count one and over. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's 1 and 2. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Chin high. That's taken for a ball. Line drive to left. Stanton is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Now back the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. Cole's ready. Here's the first pitch. Here we go. Nope. This year against right-handed pitching, Martinez is hitting over 350 up in the high 300s. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. We're in the fourth inning of a 4-2 ball game. Outside, 3-0 now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. There's ball four. Well, they were obviously pitching around him there, and I don't blame him. With the bases empty and two outs and a hitter of this caliber at the plate, make somebody else beat you. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Xander Bogarts. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two-out walk. Always considered a big no-no, of course. Boy, this guy right here on that last A.B., how about straightaway center field? He hits a bomb, and as a pitcher, you're trying to pitch to the big part of the ballpark. But a guy like this, if he has pop to hit it out to center field, I might have to think pitching this guy down and away down on the corner. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting lucky. One ball, no strikes to count. Four runs, seven hits, and one error on the Boston line score. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. 2-0 to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. From the belt, the pitch. High and away, not close. 3-0. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Two men are on with two men out. Three and two, the count for Rafael Devers. Next pitch coming up here will make it an even 100 for the ball game. 
And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. And things are not looking good here in the fourth inning. That's the second walk of the frame. Good time for the catcher to go out to the mound and have a chat with this guy to give him a little breather. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound. And it appears that we've seen the last here in this one of Garrett Cole. So he'll depart early here this afternoon as he just never got into any kind of groove out there. Ben Heller answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Ben Heller. Mitch Moreland will be the first one to greet him and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. The 0 1 offering in there, and he's in control 0 2 now. Keller has over 40 innings on his line so far and allows over a run in inning, an ERA over nine. Ready on 0 2. Two out, bases loaded. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Red Sox leave them loaded, but they still lead this one four to two. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he really emphasized that they're not doing a very good job capitalizing on run scoring opportunities. With just one hit with runners in scoring position in the game, you can understand why he feels that way. But he also says he likes the way his guys are responding to the adversity. It seems as though they're keeping their energy and mood up, so we'll see if they can start coming through with some big hits as we go forward. Thank you, Heidi. The catcher, Gary. Here comes the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A.B., he went down on strikes. And gets the call on the changeup there, 2-1. and one. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now. 2-2. Two and two. Just hung in there on that one. The 2 2 one more time. Fouled off. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. The 2 2 one more time. He is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. He showed right there why having a good changeup is so valuable. Two and two, and he flips one up there that the bottom really falls out at the last minute. It's so hard to pick up, and it's even harder to make good contact with. In now, Gio Urshela. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Guide down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Bounce towards the mound. 
throw in time at first for route number two. So striding in, Tyro Estrada, over two with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. First offering on its way. Two out, nobody on. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Hey, down in the count 0-2, oh, I'd like to see a little choke and poke right here. Maybe work it up the middle or opposite field with two strikes. Yankee shortstop behind in the count 1-2. and two. Hey, that 0-2 oh, fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. Rounded weakly toward third. Devers fields it cleanly. In a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They trail it here four to two. Bottom of the inning now, and that brings Leading up the off. outfielder, Florida Alex Red Verdugo. The right fielder. First delivery to him on the way. And right into the shift. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And he popped him up. Stanton coming on, but he won't get to it. And this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real quality swing. But hey, he muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. Now batting, Christian Vasquez. It was a walk in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit the other way out toward right field. Judges under it. One out. Here's Jackie Bradley now. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. From the stretch. Looking at his career totals, Bradley has just over 100 career home runs to his credit. The 1-0. Hits the outside corner, strike one. Runner at second here with one man out. And he misses two and one. Three balls and a strike now to Bradley. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Now batting, left fielder, Andrew. Digging in once again, Andrew Benintendi. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Hicks on the move. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Into the box now. Dustin Pedroia. He lined out in his last trip. So looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. 
that can get in your head for a little while. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Four to our score here as we play inning number five. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. Two on, two out with the base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch that he can hit one out of the park on. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news, a single probably drives in a couple of runs. So the bases are loaded here. Two men gone. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. First pitch coming. Here it is. And this one runs up high. Ball one. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. That's by him for strike one. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. Three balls and two strikes to the DH for the Red Sox. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. Full count still. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. And it's times like these that a pitcher feels awfully lonely. I can see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter, but walking in a run is painful, too. And here he is again still with the bases loaded. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. Last time through was a base hit. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Back goes Stanton. And he makes the catch as just the one run comes across in the inning. Red Sox settle for just the one. Five innings complete. Boston's out in front, five to two. Coming to the plate now, DJ LeMayhew. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. DJ LeMayhew. First pitch on its way. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. Swing and a miss, 1-1. One and one. Hit out towards second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Here's big Aaron Judge. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. First pitch of the at-bat. Well, might not have been where he was hoping to put that pitch, but he somehow gets a swing on it anyway. Strike one. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Now here it comes. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. One out, nobody on. 
High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. On to Lansdowne and gone. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. Home run number 42 on the season, and it's a 5-3 game now. Giancarlo Stanton now as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one he's one for two in this one in for a strike it's one and one you can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now that's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going Bases are empty, one man out. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Swing and a liner. And now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double. Now that when you play in this park where the fences are shorter, this is going to happen more often than any other ballparks. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Waiting on it is Benintendi. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Now that Into the, the box now. Luke Voigt. The runner in scoring position Voigt. with two gone. First offering on its way. And a cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-1. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And that misses one and one. There is a base open here, so the option to work around it is there if they want to go that route. He's set. Here comes the one one. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam sandwich. The one two he is swung on and missed strike three. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. Bottom of the sixth coming up. It's the Red Sox five and the Yankees three. You're Zach Britton please. enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 53. Zach Britton. So digging in now, Rafael Devers. He'll lead it off for the Red Sox here in their half of the sixth. He's set and the pitch. Here's the 0 1. High in the air into shallow left center. Stanton comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. Now the pitch. Lefty versus lefty, and the first pitch misses for ball one. One out, nobody on. Yeah. 
And this winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 and now. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3-0. and 2-1 and one after the foul ball there. Now here's the pitch. And he lays off again. Ball three. Bases are empty. One man out. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Now at the plate, Alex Verdugo. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. First pitch on its way. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. That evens it up one and one. Runner at first here, one man out. Runners on the move for second. Right back to Britain on the mound. One there on to Voigt, an inning-ending double play. Nothing across here this half. Seventh inning coming up. The Red Sox on top, 5-3. to three. Brian Brazier is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 70, Ryan Brazier. Striding in, Aaron Hicks. He'll match up with a new pitcher to begin their half of the seventh. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. A changeup floats outside here for ball one. Ready. Here's the 1 0. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Hitters count now. Here's the 2 and 1. And it's fouled away. Here now the 2-2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. One gone here in the Yankee seventh. And the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher, Gary Sanchez. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. A little quick on that swing and he finds himself behind 0-2. One out, nobody on. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Blake now, Gio Urshela, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Oh, and one, here it comes. 
Bases are empty here with two men out. Liner towards second, but this is right to Pedroia, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're still down 5-3. Chad Green gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 57, Chad Green. In now, Christian Vasquez. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. The catcher, Christian. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball just inside. Here's the 1-0. We got a ball, one strike. Two balls and two strikes now. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Striding in for Boston, Jackie Bradley Jr. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Junior. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Bases are empty. One man out. Fouled away. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. Now the pitch. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, man. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. So now to the plate, Andrew Benintendi, as he'll take a look at ball one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Swing and he pops him up. Urshela in foul ground, but this will land untouched. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Now the one and one pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hicks will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three, and it remains five to three. Matt Barnes has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 32, Matt. Ready to begin the eighth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Tyro Estrada. Tyro Estrada. First pitch coming. Here it is. Curveball. And that misses in the dirt for ball one. Now 
lays off the fastball away, and it's 2 0. Too high, and it's 3 and 0. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Now the 3 and 0 offering. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Man, that's a tough one to swallow. You're now, hanging on to a slim good. lead, and the last yeah. thing you want to do is give up a leadoff walk. Seems like those are the ones that always come back to haunt you. So we'll see if that's the case here. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. No hits to this point. First offering on its way. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Has a look. Now the pitch. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole the strike. One and two to D.J. LeMayhew. On the ground to the right side. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Cutting it close now here, back. but he comes through right. in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there, or probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A.B. in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never, and I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking, this very well could be my last A.B. of this game, so if I'm going to keep this streak alive, going to have to do it right now. First pitch of the at bat. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. A great job pounding the zone. Strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. First and second here with nobody out. Swung on and chopped down the line at first. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Really important time for a strike out there, guys. Tying run at first, so objective number one is stranding him on base. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. Into the box now, Giancarlo Stanton. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. So far, two for three in this one. The 1 0. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with all speed. The 1-1 pitch. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Now the 2-1 pitch. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Long throw to third. 
And he'll make it to third safely, so your tying run is 90 feet away with only one gone. Absolutely scorched that base hit. Worthy of some show track love, and as you see it, it came off the bat at 110 miles an hour. That's definitely squaring a ball up. Josh Taylor makes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. To the plate now, Torres. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 2 now. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely. So I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. Now the 0-2 pitch. Too high. One and two. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone. 0-2 in a big spot. And he was able to spit on that one. Hopefully get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. There's a curveball blocked by Vasquez. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Swing and a miss. And they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good, high, hard fastball. Standing in now, Luke Voigt. And yes, he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Taylor, a native of Arizona. This is his second year as a major leaguer. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Big spot. Two out, possible tying, and go-ahead runs on base. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. The 2-2 pitch. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. And he lost him here on three two as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Now batting the center fielder, Aaron Hicks. So stepping in, Aaron Hicks, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First pitch coming. Here it is. Popped him up. Bogarts waits on it. And they'll avoid the big inning as he makes the catch. So just the one run scores here in the frame. A run on two hits for the Yankees. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Red Sox are out in front. Five to four. of inning number eight set to go and that'll bring in the second baseman Dustin Pedroia
Stanton set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Stanton has a read on it. One down. For the West. Riding forward now no, is the DH. J.D. Martinez he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In there for strike one. 0 oh and one. Swings through it for strike number two. And this pitch is swung on and missed. And the AL's leading hitter is set down on strikes two away. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches. That was a three-pitch strikeout. And with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. Here's Xander Bogarts now. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. He's had a great game so far and a triple would complete the cycle. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Throw into second. And the gamble will work out. He's in at second base with a two-out double. Now batting. I think they've stopped pitching to this guy right now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. So a runner at second two down now and that brings up the third baseman Rafael Devers <laughs> looking to keep this a one run game the pitch. Now the 0 1. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. LeMayhew's got it. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Brandon Workman comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 44, Redgate. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring up Gary Sanchez. Detective Gary Sanchez. Now here's the pitch. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Workman playing here in his age 31 season. This is his sixth season for him in the big leagues. The two one home. Back up the middle. Pedroia has it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now back. First base. Gio Urshela. Digging in. Gio Urshela. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. And that misses ball one. A ball and a strike. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. 
Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry. Benintendi back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Ready once again, Tyro Estrada. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat. And this ball swung on and hit to center field. And this should do it. And he'll put this one away. And the Red Sox bounce back here to take the finale and earn a split of this four-game series as this one is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. A one-run finish today, 5-4 to four the final score. The Red Sox jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Eduardo Rodriguez earned his ninth win of the year. Garrett Cole couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. Brandon Workman records the save his 21st of the year. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Boston Red Sox. Five runs on nine hits, one error, and 13 runners left on base. For the Yankees, four runs on eight hits, no error. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 16 minutes. Our paid attendance at Fenway Park this afternoon, 37,755. The Red Sox and Yankees, thank you.